are you? It's a late one, guys. Um, felt like coming on and doing another video tonight because I have a lot of stuff to go through. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break up this. You, calm C, I am sorry. It's calm C. I think I was saying C-O-M-C in my earlier video and I got called out. <laughs> it's all good. No. I thought I might get banished from the hobby because I said C-O-M-C instead of calm C. So this calm C order that I have... Um, it's pretty pretty sizable. So what I'm doing is I'm breaking it down to you know players or uh, categories, and I'll just go through like that. I've got a stack of 71, 71 cards here that I want to show you. And as you've known lately, I've been on a bit of a bender with Eric Chavez. Uh, shout out to my boy Oakland Days nine one five. Hope you get in the Hall of Fame, brother. And i uh, just been going nuts buying his cards, and I added 71 to the collection today. Um, so uh, I think that's the biggest one day, like, out of any one player at any one time for me. Um, so here we go. Let's start. So I'm going to start off with the base. Now, guys, I know they're base cards, but we don't have a hobby without the base cards, man. That's where it started. That's what everybody collected back in the the days you know it was the base cards that's all that was there so you got to respect the base if you have a player pc you got to have the base right you got to have the base so we're going to start with some base and then we'll just work through the pile and we'll uh we'll see all right guys so here we go first card 1990 uh this is 98 tops chrome that's the tops um eric chavez you know first tops card and tops rookie card all right and then I got the 1999 Topps Chrome. All right, layer. And then I got the 2000 Topps Chrome. And those are all just straight up Chrome, no refractorage there. Then a 2002 Topps uh, Base. And then I got a 2004 Topps Base, like the old flag in the background. And 2005. And a nice shiny 2006 Topps Chrome. I'm sorry, 2005 Topps Chrome. Sorry. It's late. It's cold here too, man. It's supposed to get out like maybe the, uh, the high 30s tonight in Southwest Florida. That's crazy. Crazy. Nuts. I think 37 degrees possibly, which is, uh, yeah. Uh, 2008 Topps Chrome Refractor. You can definitely see that's a refractor. And then one of the best all-time um, parallel sets Tops has ever done. And I know, Eric, you're not going to like this one, but it's the 2011 Tops. Eric Chavez in his Yankee uniform. <laughs> and uh, that is the Platinum Diamond Anniversary. Probably the best parallel set Tops has ever done, in my humble opinion. Um, just beautiful, beautiful shine. And just, I don't know, that card just pops, right? They all pop. Those all pop. And then we got the 2012 base. And then we got the 2012 update. In his, like, throwback uniform. This is a weird Yankee uniform. It's like a road uniform. Um, no pinstripes. It's gray, but it's got the NY on the, on the left side of the chest, not the uh, New York across the chest. So there's that. And then the... Um, the parallel, the golden moments parallel. And then we got the 2013 base. And then we got the really nice, really nice. I love this parallel as well. The emerald foil, the emerald foil, 2013. And then we got the 2013 update when he was uh, picked up by the Diamondbacks and he finished his career off with the Diamondbacks. And now he's the Mets hitting coach. And then the 2014 base. Now it says back here, this is a US 158.1 Eric Chavez batting. So there might be a uh, SP uh, photo variation. Um, I have to look into that, I don't know. But I, I did get one of the variations um, maybe I guess this is it because it's uh, 158.2. It's the Sabermetric one. So on the back of this one, 
it's got the um, the saber metrics instead of the regular stats. So that's the only difference if you have to flip the card over to see it. And I got the gold. It's, uh, those are numbered out of 2014. So Topps', Topps is gold cards are numbered to the year they're made. So this year they're numbered to 2022. So here's the gold. This is the Walmart blue. Yep, this is Walmart blue. Not numbered. This is the cool camo version. And that's number 73 out of 99. Those are numbered. And then the black. This is beautiful. Number 35 out of 63. That looks just, that's really nice looking card. I like the black borders on those. That would be a fun set to build. Not going to do it, but it would be fun. And then you got the uh, pink numbered out of 50. And that's numbered 49 out of 50. So almost got the eBay 101 there. And then we got the red hot foil. Hot foil. All right. That leaves us out of the tops base. And now we're going to move into one of my... Becoming one of my favorites. I just really enjoy this. I've been working on the Don Mattingly um, run of this. Now I'm going to work on the Eric Chavez run. It's the 2005 Donruss Zenith Epics. All right. So um, this is um, a pretty large set. I mean, it's 24 cards in the set. There's um, four cards in each color group, and there's six color groups. There's orange which is the most plentiful. And this is the um, the game, and the games are, the orange games are numbered out of 500. And this is number 325 out of 500. And then the seasons of the orange, now it's gonna change when the colors change. So the orange season is numbered out of 350, all right? And, you know, aside from the name on the front of the card, the um, the backs are all the same. There's no difference on the backs of the cards. Um, these have, um, aside from, you know, the numbering on the back right there, the little blurbs are the same. Um, but you can, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but yeah, you can see a design in there, right? It looks like a, not a checkered board, but like, I don't know, a target design. And you can see that little bit right there. So that's the that's the um, the design on the season, and then if you look at the game design, it's more of a it's not broken up. It, that that looks more like a target actually. That looks more like a target, and that looks more like I don't know X Fractor. I I guess you can say, but there's different designs on each of the cards to kind of set them aside from each other. And then we go up to the um, the blue version. And I was able to p procure the entire run, all four of them. Um, so these are a little bit different numbered. The, um, the blue play is numbered out of 500. All right. That's uh, that. And then you go from the blue play to the blue game. And that's numbered out of 350. And I don't know. Yep, again, that has more like the, the bullseye design on it quite like the orange. And then we got the blue season numbered out of 250. And there's that diamond shape there. And then the lowest number of the blue is numbered out of 150 and it's the moment. And I cannot discern a pattern on this one, but that's numbered out of uh, 150. Then we go to the purple. I was able to get all four purples. And you can see the same play, game, season, and, um, and moment. So the purple play is numbered out of 350. The purple game is numbered out of 250. I like the purple ones. Those are pretty cool. The purple season is 150. You can see the design on that one. And then the purple <clears throat> moment is out of 100. Now the next color in the uh, in the run would be green and I don't have any of the greens. 
Um, those are, t it seems like the greens are the toughest. In fact, I just picked up um, another Mattingly green. I'll have two of the four greens now. Um, that should be coming in the mail in a few days. But it seems to me the greens are so elusive, more so than even the reds and the blacks, which are more rare. So it's going to move right onto the reds. And I was able to actually pick up three, three of the reds. I was, uh, I got the play, which is numbered out of 250. And again, all the backs are the same. The backs don't change from color to color. And this one is the game number out of 150. And this is the season with the design on there, numbered out of 100. And then I think the moment's numbered out of 50. And then the most rare of the colors is the black. And I've got the black game, and that's numbered out of 75. That's just really nice looking. So that's a fun little that's a fun little set to to run there. Um, yeah, if you have a player your PC, check that out. It's a 2005 Donruss um, Zenith Epics. See if you've got your player in there, and uh, you can add 24 cards of your favorite player. And uh, now we're just going to go into some more, just kind of. Um, Random <laughs> 2003 tops. Um, this is the um, All Star Sporting News All Star card. Got the old throwbacks on there, which I like. A lot of a lot of um, fielding cards for Eric Chavez, and he was a great fielder. He won like six Gold Gloves in a row, and so he's got a lot of cards him fielding, which I think is cool. And we got the 99 Tops Finest um, rookies. Uh, I'd say rookies um, just right down the side there. I don't think these are embossed or anything. Or etched. Actually, these might be etched. Are these etched? I don't know. I can't tell if they're etched or not. They might be a little bit. Um, I am not peeling. I don't think I'm going to peel. <laughs> it's going to stay like that. And then we got the... Uh, I like this one a lot because it's great color match for the uniform. This is the 2004 um, Topps Finest. This is just the base. And that's a great color match. That's a, just a gorgeous looking card right there. Love it. And then we got a Topps Team Favorites. This is out of eight, uh, 2008 Topps Finest. And that's just an insert card. Again, very nice looking card. And then we got a little bit of a run here of 2009 Topps Finest, the base. Got the base. It's all about the base, right? And then I got the refractor. You can see that right there, the refractor. And we got the blue numbered out of $3.99. And then my favorite, the green, numbered out of $99. The green. And then we got some Topps Heritage. This is out of 2001 Topps Heritage. This is the first year Topps did the heritage. And uh, there is the Eric Chavez flavor right there. Um, this year's Heritage 2022 will be the 1973 design. And then we'll see what Fanatics does, if they'll continue it. I think they will. It's pretty popular, especially for set builders like myself. Um, this is a 2013 Topps Heritage high number of Eric on the Diamondbacks. And then we got a nice, uh, this is a 97 uh, Bowman Chrome. That's his first Bowman Chrome. Nice card. And we got the 98 Bowman International. That's got like a foil finish to it. And then we got a nice refractor, 2007 Bowman Chrome Refractor. And then we got another refractor, 2008 Bowman Chrome Refractor. And then we got a Bowman Heritage. This is out of 2002 Bowman Heritage. And then we got the 2007 Bowman Heritage Rainbow Foil. It's a pretty. These are pretty thick cards. It's probably gonna have to go in a top loader. And then and some of my favorites. I love the Upper Deck Masterpieces. This is a beautiful card. 2008. Nice uh, landscape view there. Actually, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous card. Really nice. 
and then we got the back has the same basic just a up close but that's just a I really like that card a lot nice art on that card and we got a what is this this is a ta 2009 tops ticket to stardom ticket to stardom and we got this nice Designy 2006 Upper Deck Future Stars. Right there. Got the blue. I already have the green one. There's the back. And then this nice uh, Sports Illustrated from Fleer Ones to Watch. This is a 99. And it's got that nice foily sheen. And we got this Upper Deck 2007 Spectrum. That's the base. And again, another foily sheen. Back-to-back -back foily sheens. Gotta love it. And then the Fleer Tradition. This is a Rookie Flashback 1999. Right there. He wore number, I guess he wore number 30 when he started, but then he, after that he wore number 3. Got the old hat under the helmet. Remember, Mike Pagliarulo always did that for the Yankees. And then the back of that little blurb. Beautiful, another beautiful little card here. This is the 2004 Leaf Certified Materials Mirror Blue. Numbered out of 50. 21 out of 50. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. That is a nice looking card. Very nice. I like that. I like it a lot. Uh, 1999 Upper Deck. That's just a base card. And then we got the 2008 Upper Deck X. This is the regular. It's not the die cut. There's a die cut version of this as well where it's actually all this is kind of cut out of the card. It's just an X. So that's the regular. And then we got a nice Tops Gallery. Apprentices. Out of 1999. And then we got this nice um, Never Compromise Stadium Club 1999. And it's, if you could see it, I can't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can kind of see it right across diagonally. It just says Never Compromise. It's, I don't know what you would call it. It's not etched. Um, it's just kind of screened on there. Um. Not a silk screen, but you, that's, I, I don't know what you would call it. Uh, fun card, uh, Sports Illustrated for Kids, Max Action, 2006 Tops Opening Day. That was at a 2006 Tops Opening Day, Max Action. And then we got this nice Bowman Scouts Choice. This is out of 1999. And it gives you a nice little, little history on the back there. A Fleer Tradition 1998 MLB debut 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 debut. So I guess that would be his like Fleer rookie card. And I like this one a lot. This is very very nice. This is numbered 14 out of 25. It's a 2005 Upper Deck Reflections Emerald. Ha ha! Love it, love it. The Emerald. Love it. It's funny. My favorite color is orange. But on cards, it's green. I just think green looks great on cards, especially when it matches the team. And then we got a nice, uh, this is a, what is this? This is a 2001 EX. This is just the base. I always like the EX. A little sparkly action going on there. Just a very nice, very nice looking card. We're down to the last couple here, boys and girls. Uh, this is a Fleer Premium 2001 Grip It and Rip It. Grip It and Rip It right there. So the Grip It is Mr. Chavez and the Rip It is Mr. Giambi. Pretty cool. And last but certainly not least, we got this nice 1999 Topps Tech Fantastic. See what they did there with the play on words? Fantastic. Phenoms. F1. Eric Chavez. And you can kind of see me through it a little bit. Right over here, you can kind of see me through it. Let me, see. Let me pull this out. It's a very 
Very cool card, I must say. So that's it for the Eric Chavez portion of the COMC order. So I'm going to go now and go put my head on my pillow and get some shut eye so I can do all this again tomorrow. All right, guys, have a great night. Thanks for watching. And may the cardboard God shine on upon each and every one of you.